Hey there, it's Sandra and thank you, Jeff. And I am going to make super ultra veggie brownies today. First, you want to start with your apron. You don't want to get burned or messy, especially if you're not wearing any clothes. Um, so first, you always want to read over your recipe um, all the way through to ensure that you're doing everything right, you know what you're doing, and um, you uh, don't like just fuck anything up. Um, and so you know what comes next because it might be crucial to do something while you're doing another thing or whatever, for instance. Um, so I did that and I set my oven to 350 degrees and I, um, melted some butter. It calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil, but I don't have vegetable oil, I have olive oil, and that'll work, but, um, it, I mean, it might give a slightly interesting taste to it, um, but olive oil will work fine. I just want to use butter, because I like, I love the buttery goodness of butter, um, and, um, I'm using unsalted butter. Because you add salt to this recipe, you don't want it to be too salty. And like the uh, unsalted butter, um, just uh, like gives it a creamier taste, let's say. Alright, so first, what we do is we got a medium saucepan over here, it's heated. And I have it on like three, maybe I'll put it on four pretty like low to medium low um and it wants you to and the water and the jug is in so it calls for um a half a cup of chocolate chunks and a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips so I'm assuming that they mean like chocolate chunks as a main milk chocolate I'm not sure I have like dark chocolate and I also have semi-sweet that I can probably use milk chocolate so it's a little more evenly distributed between chocolates I guess so, you put your half a cup of chocolate chunks and half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips in this saucepan with um, one and a quarter cup sugar and a quarter cup water. So let's get our water in there first so that things aren't burning up. So here's your quarter cup of water. There we go. I have a little more in there because this thing came off. And then it calls for one and a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to use two of these half cups. There we go. And then I'm going to use one quarter cup to this one and a quarter. There we go. And then we'll get a little cup of each of these chocolates. So I'm just going to do two quarter cups. Since it's easier to fit in the bag in it. So here is a half a cup of this cover joint. Okay, and here is a 
come to come. There's no chocolate. chocolate is melted and um we're gonna turn this heat up just a ton so that um it'll like just melt a little faster cause you know we just want it to um melt kinda just I guess keep stirring it until all chocolate is melted to make sure that none of the chocolate um gets burnt on the bottom. You can put it in medium or something like that. But as long as you're stirring it, it should be okay. There's the chunks in there, so we're gonna just keep going for a few minutes. And there we go. That looks pretty decent. Not really chunks in there, and if there are chunks, then they'll melt the rest of the way. Now, it's telling us to, um, well, we remove the pan from the heat, and, um, we need to let it cool, um, not until it's solid again, but just cool, and then, um, and then, like, while we're doing all this other stuff, like, it'll be cool, and it'll be good. So, and we want to add the flour, cocoa powder, chocolate chips, oh, um, baking powder and salt to mixing bowl and stir to incorporate. Okay, for some reason, I did not see where I said chocolate chips in this recipe, but they should be okay if they're all, like, mixed together. Um, and melted. Uh, but if you want, you know what? I got, like, this bag of multi chocolate chips. They have semi sweet milk chocolate and white chocolate. I think I'm gonna throw that in my bathroom. And um, it is about like maybe half a cup. And so, yeah, it's, it's about a half a cup. Maybe a little. Um, and that's how much they want in there. And um, so. Chocolate chips are going to bubble. Okay. And then, um, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. So, I would. Okay, the flour. They want one and three quarters cups. So since I've been using that half cup, I'm just gonna keep using the half cup. And one and three quarters cup is three half cups. And I just like take my hand on the side of the bag and flatten off the flour. Easy. And then one, two, three. And I have a middle quarter cup guy. Or look, three, end of the three quarters cup. Then they want a third of a cup 
of cocoa. This is going to be super chocolatey and fudgy. I melted all the chocolate together. And it has cocoa. So here's your third cup. If you're jelly, I got it still. It's awesome. It's really good. Alright. So I do the same thing with the cocoa as I do the flour. Okay. Then, what else do we need? Oh yeah, the, um, we have the chocolate chips, we need a quarter teaspoon, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. So, for a quarter teaspoon, I have this handy dandy multi-measuring tool for paper stuff, it's, it's awesome. And, um, it measures up to a teaspoon from an eighth of a teaspoon and so we're going to get a quarter teaspoon of our baking powder if you do it and just get it and you scrape it on the edge of the can put it in there okay then they want a pinch of salt so what you do there is like pour a tiny bit in your hand yeah, like a pinch is like as big as you can get it between your two fingers. I'm gonna do a little more. Okay, then you know, um, they that's they would just want it like I guess mixed together so it's compound. Um. Yeah, I just said stir to incorporate. I'm just going to stir with my hand real quick. Who cares? Alrighty, so now it's all mingled together. Then we're going to take the eggs with the vanilla and mix until just combined. So we need two eggs. And you always crack them on a level hard surface because you do not want shells to get into your bowl. Uh, if you crack them like on the side of the bowl, that's how they're more susceptible to get into your bowl. So, hard level surface. Doesn't fail you every time. Okay, and then I have my half a cup of melted butter. And is it cool? Yeah, it cooled down nicely. It's solidifying it. Kind of. And then it wants a teaspoon of vanilla extract so I can just slide my little dilly. And Get my teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. Then we're just gonna mix it until just incorporated. You don't wanna mix it too much because baking powder and leavening and things and things um can make something tougher if you mix it too much. I'm just mixing this on a low stir, not any of the numbers, because it just wants it until it's compound. And it's coming here in a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna turn it up just for a second. Oh, it seems really chunky. Mm. 
it's gonna come down. I mean, it's come down. It seems just like it, it, I don't know. That's because I forgot. Duh. Okay, so after it's come down, you want to add your chocolate mixture that you melted, and um, then you mix it until it's well incorporated. Yeah, so I mix that for you. I was wondering why I wasn't hanging on like, you know, battery. I forgot about my liquid over there. So like, it's not over mixing it. We're crushing the chocolate chips or anything like that. Now it's becoming more solid and buttery. That's cool. There we go. That seems like it's pretty good. Let's scrape our beater, and then after we scrape our beater, we'll mix it just like. For another minute, just to make sure everything is evenly incorporated. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your bottom is great. Make sure everything is fine. And there we go. So, now. I'm just gonna mix it for a minute. Just a second. Sorry, next one more. Make sure everything's kind of even. Okay. That's good. Then. We're gonna pour it into a 9x9 nine nine, um, square pan. I have a metal one. Uh, my glass one is 8x8, eight eight, so I was afraid it might not fit in there. Um, cause I do prefer glass over metal, but this does just fine. And, um, you either line the bottom of your pan with a piece of parchment paper, and I also sprayed the sides with, like, Pam, and, um... Just so it, to make sure it doesn't stick. And another way you can do that is by um, spraying the whole pan with PM um, cooking spray. And then um, you take like a light little pinch or small handful of flour and Put it in there, and then you tap the um, pan it is all over the like trash can and like rotate it as you go, so that the flour gets all stuck to all the edges. Um, but usually I use that for um, stuff like banana bread. Uh, you can use it for anything that's flour in it. Doesn't really harm it. Sometimes if you get too much, it'll make all the edges look white, but 
Doesn't harm you or anybody. So then, I'm going to pour my batter in. Let's see how much they want. Okay. They want you to bake it for 40 minutes. And the amount of time may vary based on where you are because things don't cook as long in lower altitudes and um, they cook way longer in higher altitudes like I live in Colorado so it'll probably take the full 40 minutes um, but I uh, You always know if it's done if uh, you prick it in the center with a toothpick and then um, the toothpick comes out clean. Yeah. All right. And we're done. I think we'll take the brownies out of the oven after the 40 minutes. We'll break them with too big to see if they're done. And then, um, if they're done, we'll, we'll just leave them out to cool completely before we serve them. Okay, brownies are on cool. I am going in to run this sharp knife along the edge. And I think they just come right out. They should. Yeah. Yeah, because we had the paper on the bottom. Please. Mm. Right here. Right here. Oh yeah, they're nice and fudgy. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just cutting them in like, um, lots of rows, I guess. Just small little brownies. They're probably rich. But, you know, see, they're my small rounds and I flip them the other way this kind of squares There's your fudgy brownies with um, chocolate chips in them. They're delicious. Mmm. Oh, yum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you have any suggestions or questions or recipes you'd like, to see, email me at sandranakedchef.llc at gmail.com.